Come here, buddy. Buddy, come up here. Come up here. Come. Come. Okay. All right. You want to get on this side? Which side do you want to go, buddy? Which side do you want to go? Hi. Hi, cutie. Hi. Hi. Welcome back to my channel. In my latest video, I'm going to talk about two of my favorite Starfleet Federation vessels. There's more of them. However, just for... I just chose two of my favorites for this video. The first one will be the... The first one will be the USS... Sorry. NX-01 Enterprise. The first Warp 5 vessel in human history. Many things I liked about the Enterprise is I liked the bridge layout. It was a good size for that time frame. I really liked the science station and tackle station because you had a council in front of you and a council behind you. That was then like the helms, the helm station. In order to increase speed you had to move up a few levels. That reminds me of the Star Trek The Motion Picture when Sulu was increasing speed. He had one level to increase the speed. So it was, that was nice seeing that carried over. I really enjoyed the Situation Room. I think that was a perfect, perfect room for that series. I wish they continued. I wish they had that in other series, like Voyager or DS9. I think the situation won't be perfect for the Defiant class starship. It's okay, buddy. Um, the situation room. <laughs> it was nice seeing when you um sorry, brain freeze. <laughs> One thing I didn't careful about the NX-01 is the captain's ready room because Captain Cook did not have a ready room or Captain Pike or Captain April did not have a ready room. So that's the one thing I wish they took out of Enterprise. The engine room was nice but it would be nice to see an engine room like they did in the original series. We have an engine room then had an engine room with a rope core and it would be nice if they did two separately. And now, for my favorite starship, that's a really interesting topic because I, I, I switch back and forth a lot of time, but as of, as of making this video today, I would say my favorite, favorite starship will be, could you guess buddy, could you guess, buddy, welcome back. You wanna come up here? You wanna just stay down here? Okay, you can stay down there. <laughs> what do you want to do? Okay. Okay. No. <laughs> Welcome back, buddy. Oh, you wanna see how this ends, huh? Okay. It's okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, now... <clears throat> you just want to see how this sounds, right, right, little buddy? Yeah, buddy Kins. Yeah. Okay. Now, for my favorite Starfleet vessel. That would have to be... I would say probably the USS... Voyager, NCC, 74656, I would like that idea of Intrepid, actually between the Voyager and the Enterprise D, that was my, I couldn't choose which one, it was a very difficult choice, I just decided to go with the USS Voyager, I really like the Intrepid class starship, I really, I thought it was fairly cool when I was a young kid seeing then the cell is going up for the first time. I thought that was very neat to see. 
Now, I will enjoy the bridge layout. Because on one side you had the science station where Ensign Wildman worked at, then on the other side the engineering station where Lieutenant Toa sometimes sit at. Then on the way back you had tactical and apps. It was like to me that was way, it was good sized bridge, it was nice and open. I especially like the helm station, it was like wrapped around. Instead of like in the Enterprise D, you had two councils side by side by side. In Voyager, you had one single council in the front. I will really enjoy seeing that. It's okay, buddy. <laughs> now, where was I? Oh, yeah, the bridge. <laughs> I really enjoy seeing the engine room. That was neat to see. Only thing I wish they had, like, a, like the Empire D, you had an isolation door to come down to see where the warp core room. I wish the interrupt class starship did that. It's okay, buddy. However, the engineering station was the engineering section was a good size because you had councils on each side and could walk straight in. So that was really nice to see. I really enjoyed that Voyager could land on a planet's surface to do, you know, explore or to do heavy maintenance. To me, that's a very important thing in a deep space exploration vessel. Only thing I wish they did, or oh, two things in Voyager. One is name the Doctor in the like the first or second season. I wish they did that. Then two, I wish the doctor, when he was first activated, he was completely confined to either the the sick bay or the holodeck. I wish they had um maybe not a middle of holograph and middles in each deck, but have it like in key places, like you know engineering the bridge. It'd be nice to see him doing that in the first. See that early seasons before you got the um, mobile mobile middle. So those are the two things I wish they did more in Voyager. So I hope everybody enjoyed this video I just made. For my next video, I'm gonna do another Q and A. So if you have any questions, comment them below. And have a nice day. Bye bye. Say bye, Beaglet. Bye, Beagle.